Hi there. Welcome to Complexity in Context, our guide to working with complex and distributed technologies in modern software environments. My name is James Nguyen, and on this episode, we're going to walk through how to use Neurolic to troubleshoot performance issues in a microservice environment and talk about how system observability has evolved with the shift from monoliths to microservices. When you had a single monolithic application, it was important to look deep into that system with code level visibility to understand the internals and see what was happening. In contrast, with a microservice environment, you can have dozens, if not hundreds of services that are calling one another. Seeing how all those services connect together and how your requests flow through those different services becomes a lot more important. And these services are often owned by different teams throughout an organization. So it's important to know which service is affected so you can raise it up to the correct team to fix it. So how do you evolve the way you look at your systems in a microservice environment? How do you see the relationships between your different services as well as how they're performing? Let's take a look at how you can do this with New Relic. Let's say I've just joined a new team and I work on the web portal service for a telecom company. I want to take a look at the big picture for how my web portal service works with all the other services in my environment. So let's go into New Relic and check out service maps. So then I can see an overall topology for how everything fits together. I can see that my web portal service connects to a number of different services, such as this login service or to this fulfillment service. I can also see that I'm working in a polyglot environment so that my web portal service is in Java, the login service is in Go, and the fulfillment service is in Ruby. All right then, I've now got a sense for how all my key services that impact my web portal service connects together. So let's get to work. The support team has been telling me that some customers have been complaining about intermittent slowness on the web portal service, specifically on the phones page. So I want to go and drill in to see what's going on. What I want to do is look at some of the requests that go through this phones page and see if I can find any slow requests for me to dig into. So I'm going to start off in APM and see a list of all my transactions in general. It looks like my phones page in general is doing OK. But let's look into some traces to see if I can find some slow requests to go and troubleshoot. So I'm now going to look at some of these distributed traces for this page. And when I click into it, I can see it's already filtered down my traces to see just the set related to my phones page. From here, I want to take a look at some of these services that were slow to respond. So let's click into this one request to see what happened. All right. I can see that this request started off my web portal service, then went to my promo service, and then went to my inventory service. It looks like it's being flagged as also having some anomalous spans. So let's see what's going on. Hmm, some of these spans look to be running a lot slower than normal. I can see that New Relic is benchmarking span performance against other similar spans over this past six hours. And it looks like there's a huge bottleneck happening in my database that's taking a lot of time. To see if I can find some more information. From this click, I can jump straight into the span that's being flagged as being slow. Hmm, looks like there's an n plus one query that's the cause of the issue. All right, now I know not only that it's the inventory service that's causing the problem, but even where specifically within that service with this n plus one query where the trouble seems to be. I don't actually own the inventory service, but I've got all the information I need to go to the right team and tell them where exactly they need to go to go and fix it. In this short video, we've covered how to resolve a performance bottleneck in a microservice environment with New Relic. With a better understanding of how your services work together, you're now well on your way to ensure that your systems and teams are working together smoothly. Thanks for watching this episode of Complexity in Context. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button below and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. You can also check out more details about microservice observability with New Relic in the additional links in the description below. Thanks.